I'm going to do a little demonstration on how to get thin lines with your acrylic paint. Tip number one, use a brush that has a very, very long bristles. The brushes that you see that have shorter bristles, you may look at a brush like this and think that those shorter bristles, and I've seen some with really tiny bristles, they're tiny. Look at these longer ones. This, here's the difference where they both start at the same point. Look how much longer this bristle is, ah, oh, come on, focus, that this one is than this one. You want the longer bristles, even if it looks like this one has smaller bristles. If you, when you're shopping, you don't wanna waste your time on that because what happens, the, this is going to build up right here. And as it builds up, that's going to cause the bristles to stop being close together and they'll start fraying. So it's gonna make it much harder for you to get those thin lines. So that is my first tip. Get a bristle with a long, or a, a script liner brush with a long bristle brush. This one's a number two and number one is also great. The next tip, Water, you have to thin your paint with water. If you are not thinning that paint with water, you are go, well, it's gonna be chunky. Actually, let me show you. I'm not thinning it with water. No matter how thin, see how it's kind of skipping? It's not really thin. It's not, it's not amazing, not impressed. So what I wanna do instead, I'm gonna rinse that paint off and I'm gonna reload it with some water on the brush. I can dab that a little. Let's reload, the, actually we'll use this one here. See how I thin it and see how I twist that brush back and forth. If you've got a chunk of paint on there, like I do, right? can you kind of see that chunk? That's not gonna work. Thin that out, twist that off, dab it a few times if you need to. Now I can get these super thin. I mean, as thin as you possibly want, you can barely see these lines. Those lines are, even the camera doesn't, can't even see them, it can't focus on it. But look, they're so thin you can barely see and I'm barely adding pressure. Now the next tip is you push hard, you get a thick line. Barely add pressure, well that one I ran out of paint. And barely adding pressure gives you a thinner line. So those are my tips, thin the paint with some water to make a liner brush work well. And then just barely hit that the canvas there. Now I recommend get a scratch piece of paper or a scratch canvas and practice. Practice making those lines. But you've got to start with a brush that has the longer bristles. That's going to allow you to do a longer line. If you use a brush like this, you're not, well, this one's actually kind of thick, so it's not the best example. But what typically will happen, one, it's harder to make a thin line, but it's shorter. See how I run out of paint sooner? With this brush, I'm not going to run out of paint as fast. So not only is the brush going to stay in healthy condition longer because the paint's not it's being kept down here instead of up at it where it meets the handle. It also holds more paint, so I'm able to make that longer brush stroke. So those are my tips for getting fine detail with your liner brush.